so pretty straightforward up until this point. Uh, you probably saw that on time lapse form. Um, so nothing too exciting. Uh, but next step here is going to involve uh, match drilling the uh, outward and inboard most holes on that steel counterbalance bar that you probably saw me putting in there. Um, so gonna get this thing turned all the way around. Um, I will use a little bit of caution here. I saw, I forget where I saw online mentioned, um, but someone did say that uh, it is easy to cause ovaling. I think it was maybe on the, on the wiki page, on the community RV10 page. Um, anywho, uh, what they were warning against is uh, with steel being such a, such a hard material to drill into, uh, your drill bit can have the tendency to walk on the aluminum and cause that hole to become uh, ovalized or uh, cause that hole to, to walk along the edge there. So don't want to have that happen. Uh, so just carrying on the side of caution, put a brand new drill bit or got out a direct brand new drill bit, uh, but just brand new, number 30, I've never been used before. And just gonna try to take it really slow and hopefully don't have any walking issues. You'll see on camera here if I do. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and get some blocks put under this as shown on the instructions and uh, get this one done as well as the right one. Um, and then yes, I am doing these both at the same time, uh, every single step, just to make things kind of more in line and seamless along the way here. Um, so we'll get some blocks on here and knock this out real quick. Quick little trick tip here uh, when it comes to orientation for your aileron skins. Um, it's a little bit confusing how to lay out your skins to ensure that you're dimpling the proper side. I know there's build videos out there, I've seen a couple of forum posts where people mention that they dimpled the wrong side, uh, which would be very unfortunate, I don't wanna do that. So how I am making sense of things here is uh, number one, uh, ignore this extra hole here. So there's an extra hole shown in the plans. Uh, that extra hole does not exist. So you'll see right there, right there, Ah, right there. I was hoping that would exist on the skins to help here, uh, but I do not see that hole on either of these skins here. So uh, going from there, how I found the proper orientation is if you look in the left-hand corner for your, uh, this here is the A1001B-1 skin, so the top skin. If you look at the top skin, three holes in the corner. If you look at the bottom skin, there's two holes in the corner. So you lay it out, Find out which side your trailing edge wedge goes on uh, by taking a trailing edge wedge and lining it up. It's very, very clear which side it goes on and which side it doesn't because your holes will all line up. So I found that this bottom section here on both of these is my side for the trailing edge wedge. Yeah, so from there, I went ahead and laid out my skins in the same orientation as shown here. So top skin's over there again, bottom skin is here. And you'll notice three hole grouping in the right hand side three hole grouping in the right hand side. Looking at the detail view, there's a little notch cut on the left corner, notch cut left corner. That same corner has a two hole grouping, this same corner, two hole grouping. Then going to the top skin, so top skin here has a three hole grouping on the left and a two hole grouping on the right. So two hole grouping here, three hole grouping here. And what happens from here is this skin will actually, after riveting everything, uh, the skin will now flip and land on the other one. And that is how that three hole grouping there ends up matching the three hole grouping on this side here. So hopefully this makes sense. Yeah, so anywho, how, uh, how I'm gonna do things when it comes to the right hand side. So the right hand aileron is, is a mirror image of the left according to these build plans. Um, so how I'm gonna do that is over here, I just have a, this is just a screenshot of the 14 build plans but the image is the same on the 10. Uh, but the way I'm gonna do things is uh, go into there, hit edit, and I'm sure there's an option to do this on Android as well, um, but edit the, the photo over here on the left-hand side, go to the orientation button. In the upper left-hand corner here, there is a mirror image option. So you'll see there, now it's been air, mirror imaged, uh, so the text becomes pretty much unusable. Um, but you'll see orientation-wise, just looking at the photo, 
Um, your top skin now will have that three hole grouping on the right hand side, two hole on the left. Your bottom skin will now have a three hole grouping on the left and a two hole grouping on the right. Uh, so that's how I'm going to go about doing things on the right hand side. Again, to prevent any kind of bad dimpling um, and prevent myself from having to order extra parts. Uh, so hopefully this video helps some of you out there, either saving time uh, from doing what I was doing here with finding out how to do this, um, as well as save some money because um, no one wants to order extra parts. Alrighty, so in the video here, um, in this time lapse here, you'll see uh, myself working with my CFI Diego. He came by, helped out with uh, dimpling, deburring, riveting um, stiffeners onto that right um, aileron skin. So it helped out a whole lot. So it was awesome to work with him in the garage there. Uh, but anywho, ending the video here, near, I know we're nearing that 10 minute mark, uh, which is where uh, most attention spans fall off. So next video will involve getting through the duration of these ailerons here. They came out looking great. Um, so I want to make sure I can give all of the attention to the fun parts of that, uh, whether it's the tight space riveting or using tank sealant, all that fun stuff that comes uh, with the end of this build here. So um, keep a lookout for that. So if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you haven't done so, make sure you're subscribed with notifications on so you can get notified when that next one posts. And we'll see you in the next one there. Uh, but thanks again for watching. Adios.